y'all what the heck what is going on <laughs> oh my god the universe just loves just oh my gosh i was sitting here like staring at my computer like why is it freezing so bad and then my streamlabs just froze and I thought, okay, my computer's just bugging, right? So I close out Streamlabs because I've done that before and then open it back up and then like the stream is still going. No, it wasn't still going. I don't know. So I'm sorry about that. Um, happy Easter to those who celebrate it. Hope everyone is doing great. We're going to do stuff with the show barn today because I'm, I just want to ride my Pixel ponies and forget about life for a little bit. Um, if you guys see any lag or hitching or anything like that, please let me know during the stream. Um, you know, so I can fix it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mini map off on that corner because I'm not gonna be using that mini map. It annoys me. But yeah, hi guys. Hope everyone's doing good. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm turning on background music, I'm sorry. I can't really hear it very well. There we go. Tell me if it's too loud at any time, okay? Howdy, howdy. Can I ride Tiramisu? I can. I don't even think Tiramisu is here. I think she's still at the ranch. She might be here. I think all of the horses are in the pasture. Dove isn't though. Hello, Dove. I don't know where Winnie is. Are my horses glitched or something? Oh my gosh, someone's excited to go. Maybe we should ride Dolphin. I'm making a video on my cross-country course, by the way. So if you guys are like, when will she show us her cross-country course? I promise soon. Um, Yeah, Winnie's here. Terry Sue's at the ranch, so we'll have to go and get her in a little bit. But I kind of want to ride Winnie. I feel like I never really ride Winnie. She doesn't get enough love, you know? So we're going to ride her today. We're going to bring her to the barn to get her tacked up. Then we'll ride Dolphin, because he's obviously uh, very excited to get out of the pasture. <laughs> yeah, so the Sunflower Barn hasn't really been worked on. I've been having a lot of personal issues, and I just haven't been able to like work like I used to. Um, I've also been having some health issues on top of what I'm already having. So to say, oh wait, I went right past the barn. What am I doing? To say that like right now my body just hates me, it's... I don't even think I could, that could describe what's going on right now. Um, but it's okay, we're solving it, hopefully. Maybe, possibly. So, you know, streaming is kind of a nice distraction from everything in life. So it's kind of great. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my keyboard. Okay, I don't think I got Winnie's tack box done. Okay, that is not Winnie's. That is Pyrali's, his tack box. So this one is Winnie's.
You guys, I've been talking this entire time. I have been talking this entire time. I unmuted it. What the heck, Streamlabs? Okay, whew. Anyways, I said this like, again, thank you, Angelic. Um, hope everyone's having a good Easter if you celebrate. I was replying to everyone. I was having a blast. What the heck? Streamlabs. Oh my gosh, Streamlabs has caused so many problems today. Is no one gonna tell her? Apparently not. I didn't see the chats of people telling me. Like, oh my gosh, why? I was telling you guys about my health issues and everything, like how they've been kind of affecting me. And like, everyone was like still talking about their day. And I'm like, oh, like I'm happy everyone's like talking about their day and everything. Like, I hope everyone's doing good and everything. And then everyone just like, everything I talked about, nobody really replied to. So I was like, okay, everyone's just doing their own thing. <laughs> oh God. Anyways. Um, that's great. So I'm sorry about the first, like, what, five minutes of stream being just silence? No, I wasn't doing it on purpose. But, you know, wouldn't that be crazy if I just started streaming and didn't say anything? What I was going to say is I'm going to ride Winnie and then I'm going to ride Dolphin after because he was trying to get out of the pasture. And then I'm going to go and get Tiramisu and bring her back to the show barn. I'm okay. Everything's great. I'm just, it's a lot of stress. And I also, oh my gosh, member for 15 months. Let's go. I love the little heart next to your name. I think after a year, someone gets a heart next to their name and that's so sweet. Ultimate peach. Oh my God. I love you, Sophia. Um, yeah, I've just been really stressed recently and I've been having a few health issues and I don't know if it's from stress or from something else, but there's no like, here you can't really go and like get checked for something unless you go there specifically saying, I think I have this. So it's, it's really difficult. So I'm just going to stick to what I'm doing where I'm trying to eat better and I'm going to the gym and not working as much and trying to spend some more time outside and see if that helps but there's just a lot of stress on top of everything if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna turn up my mic a little bit a giant carrot on a lead how dare you call wormy boy a giant carrot on a lead wormy boy he's he's a worm He's, he's dancing. <laughs> okay, let's bring up to a trot. Yeah, I'm okay. I just, I don't know. I sent something to a friend yesterday um, that I haven't talked to in like months. And she told another friend in, our, in my old friend group that I'm not even in anymore. And I got a text from her saying like, oh my gosh, are you dying? And it was like all this stuff kind of added up where like people just in my like old friend group that I like left the Discord and everything to, that thought I was just like dying. I was like, no, I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's just these symptoms, you know? Oh my gosh, Sophia, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. But it's not enough to like worry myself that much. I just, I have really bad anxiety. So any type of medical stuff, I'm like, wow, this is it for me. Like nice knowing you guys, but it's, it's not like that. I don't know. Congrats to everyone who got the membership. Oh my gosh, you got on your alt and your main? Oh my lord. Oh my god. Sophia's so sweet. We love Sophia. But I hope everyone is feeling okay. I hope everyone's having a good weekend, a good Easter weekend. What is she at? Okay, so she's completely reset. I haven't really ridden her much anyways, so that's fine with me. I'm just gonna let her have like her, her um, stats reset. Um, I have my world on like just naturally generated and then um, cleared up an area and put this barn here. But we did that on the VIP server for Swee. 
And then I just implanted this in the world and put the, um, the seed in. And then built stuff around it. I don't know if that's considered open though. Like every time I talk about anything, I haven't talked about anything health by the way in a long time. I think the last thing I talked about health is when I was in a lot of pain during a stream, but I try not to share too much because one, I don't want people to worry about me because it's probably nothing. Like I said, I have really bad, oh my God, I'm just crashed into the wall. I have really bad um, social and just like anxiety about everything. And um, sometimes I just talk about it because I'm really anxious and that's all I can think about. So I'm sorry if that's oversharing at all. Obviously, I'm not going to like share everything with you guys. And I know you guys will respect that because that's just, I don't know. I don't think I want everything out there in the world. <laughs> oh my God, my controls, please. So yeah, I don't know. But I try to stay open just in case I have to like go offline for a while. You know, so I can just be like, hey guys, remember that thing I talked about on stream? Yeah, I'm going to have to go for a bit, you know? Oh my God, playing Sims. I wanna play Sims so bad. But yeah, other than that, I'm doing great. Um, it's really nice outside. So I've been taking time every day and going outside and just walking around. Like I walk down the road with Kodiak and see the cows cause our neighbor, every like neighbor we have around us has cows. So we go and see the cows and their babies that have grown up a little bit. They're big enough now that they're like kicking out and like running around and doing like little you know like how rabbits do like banks? They like run and like kick. That's what the like the calves are doing. It's so cute. And I go and just watch them. It's like therapeutic. Um, and then I've just been going out and enjoying the sun because it's finally sunny and nice out. I kind of like this in between of spring and summer. And once summer hits, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I don't like summer here. Summer is way too hot and humid. And it just, it scares me. But my pets are doing good. Um, Sushi's about to be introduced to the outside, which I'm hesitant in doing, but I'm thinking about it just because she's so like cooped up in the house and we're planning on getting a, a fence put on our property. So I told my dad, once we get the fence, I'll let her out. So that's kind of like helping him be encouraged to, to get the fence. Yeah, new stream started. I'm sorry. Yeah, a lot of people didn't have it like, you know, on notifications on on the new stream because I had to reset the stream. My stream labs froze. And then when I started stream, I clicked unmute on stream labs. And then guess what didn't happen? It didn't unmute. So I was just in silence for like <laughs> five minutes. I feel so bad. It gives me the same vibes as when I went for seven minutes showing everyone everything on the show barn and what I've done. And we are still on the starting soon screen and I felt so bad. Oh, Sophia, I'm so glad. I love gardening. If bugs didn't exist, I would love gardening even more. Let's see what she's at. Okay, she's at speed two and she's at jump. She's not getting anywhere on jump, but she's, oh, we're bonded? Hold on, what is going on with my horse stats? Okay, so we're bonded. I'm guessing her stats just reset then. Let's try some jumps. I'm gonna turn cinematic mode off so it's easier to control. All right, that was a good attempt, right? I tried. Yeah, I've had sushi on this channel since she was a baby. Like, the second or third day I had her, I showed her on stream for the first time. And she's been on my channel, like, ever since then. It's been kind of weird to have an animal that's, like, been involved on my social media since I got them. Because even Miso, I didn't show, like, in every single stream. Because Miso's a hamster. It's not like he's going to be walking around my room. And I didn't have to raise Miso. He kind of just knew what to do. It's crazy to me that animals are just born or hatched or whatever. And they're just like, oh, I got to do this. It's like, how do you know that? Like, how could, how do you just like instinctually just start doing that? But Sushi, I had to teach her everything. I had to like potty train her. I had to feed her, teach her how to eat, what to eat. 
have her steal stuff from my Subway sandwich when she jumped up in my bed while I was eating it. I was scared to leave her for like a good three to four weeks. Like I was even, I was scared to go to Walmart. I was like, if I leave her for like too long, she's gonna die or something. Cause she was really malnourished when she was a baby. But yeah, like, see, I'm fine with spiders because garden spiders, they don't really scare me. But like beetles and roaches and stuff and like things, anything that resembles a roach. No, I can't do it. Welcome to your first live stream. I hope it's a good live stream for you. What I want to do is a Red Dead Online live stream. And I want to do, so we're doing a Phasmophobia one later today. We're thinking around, I think I was told 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern. So around 2 to 3 Central. But I'll give you guys a more like a promising time than that. You're terrified of bees? I used to be terrified of bees. I'm terrified of wasps. After, like, I had so many bees, like, land on me and stuff and not sting me, and you just find out that they don't really sting you unless you're near their nest. Or you step on them. I mean, yeah, they'll sting you. I just, I haven't been scared of bees. You're not chatting, a t you're not chatting too much, don't worry. You're chatting just enough. Um, the sunflower barn? I'm not sure. What I really want to do with the sunflower barn is finish it and then have like a little contest where you guys like build different designs for it and then like send them in and I can put it in the barn if I like it and like you win or whatever. But at the same time, that's kind of just giving the barn to someone and being like, here, design whatever you want on it. That's what the purpose of it is. So I don't know. Does that make any sense? I feel like it didn't make sense. Yeah, but whatever the fast time is, um, make sure to have the new stream notifications on or like the new stream role for notifications on my Discord. If you have the role applied, you will get notified. Oh my gosh. Yeah, hornets are terrifying. Yellow jackets? Yellow jackets terrify me. I've only been stung by a wasp a yellow jacket and a hornet. I've I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee. And if I have, I don't remember it. Like <laughs> Honestly. Maybe that's why I'm not scared of bees. It's just because I've never really had like traumatic experiences with bees. You know, I don't know. A public server? That, that's, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Maybe, I'll think about it. Just a public server, it's like a lot of, why did I do that? It's a lot of work to start a public server. If I started now, I'd probably be done in like a year or so for a public server, because you have a lot of things going into it. I want everyone to be safe on the internet, and I want the community and my server to be uplifting and encouraging, but that's something that you have to you have to kind of sacrifice something like that to have a public server. I'm not saying public servers can't be uplifting and encouraging, but you have to have like one or two flaws that you can't fix easily on a public server. Like every public server has them, and it kind of ruins the vibe of the server, so I don't think I'm ready for that type of stress just yet. Maybe someday though. But I am making a server, but it, yeah, like Joel said, it won't be for public members. And a jacuzzi. Oh my god. Why is a jumping animation glitch like that? Hold on. What the heck? Okay, I hope that's fixed someday. But... Or in 1.18. I just hate the stink bug. You know like the buzz they make? Or like the clicking they make when they fly? 
I used to hear that in our house when we lived in Washington and knew there's a stink bug in our home somewhere because during like September and October we had a horrible stink bug like I wouldn't even say like infant stations but like they were they were just like overpopulated in our area and they'd be all over outside all over the house thankfully our chickens loved them so we didn't have like an excessive amount like our neighbors did but yeah okay I'm gonna try to get to jump I want to get to jump two which means I have around 300 left to go, which isn't bad at all. Okay. Why aren't you jumping this? I swear she was just able to jump this. Okay. I was jumping way too late. Oopsies. Do we have one jump, like one bar jumps over here? I thought we did. Yeah, we do. We have one. gonna do a, a twist through here my little multi-arena course let's go um these jumps right over here with like the wings on them those are from the equestrian cit pack same with my helmet um this one too is from the equestrian cit that one's from the equestrian cit oh my god i ran into a jump the rainbow one she also came out with a, a new version of it i think it's like 2.0 and it has um, a couple new jumps. It has, I believe, awards. And it has a couple other things. Very helpful. I've done a video about it, though. So if you want to know like the full showcase, you can go to her Planet Minecraft listing. Or you can go in my video to see like physical examples. She is um, a flea bitten. I don't believe she was Ariel's or whatever their name was on the coats. I forgot like half the coat names. I think Ariel's was like the really like prominent flea bitten. I've been told she's like a diluted flea bitten, but I don't know the exact term for it. Cause I already know if I say that she's a coat color, I'm gonna get bullied on the internet. <laughs> Okay, she's jumped too. And y'all think I'm joking. You guys think I'm joking. I did a swim coat showcase and apparently I use like unprofessional terms for coats because I told I said in the very beginning like I'm I'm not like a horse geneticist. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to show the coats anyways. And I had like so many <laughs> I had so many comments that were just like this isn't the right term. Like, how dare you do the horse gaming community like this? And I'm like, what did I just say? <laughs> okay, let's brush her down. Um, it's, it's pretty nice out, so we're not gonna... We're not gonna put a blanket on her, and I don't wanna put a halter on her, so we're gonna bring her to her stall. She's in the pasture, so she can go into her stall. Oh, okay. Yep, that works too. And then we're gonna ride Dolphin next. Because he's, he's ready to go. He's amped up. Look at him, he's waiting still. Yeah! He's like, Mom, finally! Sorry I made you wait so long. I need to clean their pastures still. I haven't done it in a hot second. If you go to the, um, the coat database on the Swem Wiki, you can also see all of the coats there and like the order that they're in. And then you have the secret coats. Like, if you haven't figured out how to do the secret coats, um, I do have a video on the secret coats and how to get them, plus a lot of other swim secrets. So if you're maybe like, I kind of want like a unique looking coat, but not like unrealistic unique, like, you know, like how SSO wild horses just look like completely unrealistic. Of course, there are some secret coats on swim that also look a little bit unrealistic, but there's also a lot that don't. So 
like for example like the peacock appaloosa the um there's like some tiger stripes so yeah there's all types of markings you can get for the secret coats And I think somebody's doing like coat commissions somewhere. I saw something like that. I don't know how legit that is and who's doing it. If it's like verified by Swem, but it looks kind of cool. Please don't tell me I have all of this in his tack box. I don't think I did his tack box yet. Would you look at that? That is fantastic. I love that for me. I'm just gonna keep this in my inventory. I don't know if he likes apples. I don't think I've ever tried apples. Okay, he's like meh with them. Okay. So, not an apples fan. Let's try a, a carrot or a sugar cube. This is like equivalent to like Sims when you have like an infant and you're testing food on them. Okay, he likes that and he likes sugar cube. Okay. So, he likes those. That's good. Love how in creative it just doesn't erase it from your inventory. It's great. Let's go. We're gonna take them on the unfinished or uh, cross country course. Like I said, I'm making jumps either tonight or tomorrow. I'm making a video on it. I miss my swim vlogs. Like I miss just doing stuff on swim and recording it and posting it. And I feel like because now I'm working on so many other projects, I'm like, oh no, that like. I don't have enough time for that, but like I kind of do. I just, I'm lazy. Did that say kings? Yeah, some of the some of the signs are wrong. I could have said kings. I just go by color and not by sign. So that's probably what it was. All of them are like color organized. What is he at? Okay, so he's really good stats. We're best friends. We're not bonded just yet. That's okay though. Oh my god, the lag. You can see Rachel's property over there. Okay, that was great. That jump is a little bit difficult. I might end up... I think I'm going to redo all of these jumps. Except for the tree jump. That took me too long to redo. Like, I do not feel like redoing that. But these jumps I have to finish. But they're gonna be fun. We love that. Yeah, some of the animations are a little bit bugged right now. First refusal, that's nice. And then we have the trailer back here. I need to find a place for that trailer. I kind of want to do like a parking lot somewhere on this property. I don't know where. And we're gonna do some jumping. <laughs> Dolphin is Jesus walking on water. <laughs> do you think he can turn water into wine? Asking for a friend, of course. Yeah, so when your horse has a good bond, that means they'll refuse less. It doesn't really have anything to do with their jump level. The jump level just dictates um, how high they can jump, how many blocks they can jump. So I think after like accepting, they'll start jumping, at least in my from my experience. I don't know like the official documentation of it, but from my experience, after accepting, they just start refusing less. And then from then on, they just stop refusing. I am riding dolphin. Yeah, I just hate how buggy the animations are right now. Why buggy?
Like, look at that. 4k out of 15k. It'll take a while before we're bonded. But it's okay. It'll be worth it. Welcome, everyone. I see some new people in chat. Hi, Rose. Did anybody do, like, Easter egg hunting? I know a lot of, like, people do Easter egg hunting every Easter. I remember Easter egg hunting at our church. They would have, like, this huge field that they'd put, um, like, the... What is it called? It's, like, you know, like, the... Cr you know, like the crime, like the criminal investigation tape. It's kind of like that, but like colored. Obviously, it's not like a. <laughs> Obviously, it's not like an investigation scene. But they'd put that stuff um, all around, and then they'd have us go and find all these eggs, and then they'd have like a timer. But I remember when I was a kid, it was like really competitive because kids would just walk up and like take it from your basket, and I was like, bro, why would you do that? But thankfully, they caught a lot of the kids who did that. Oh yeah, it is dolphin. Oh, it's because dolphin is too far away from the tack chest. Maybe I should just get a tack box, right? Where are you? Right here. Bind it to him and then put it on this end piece right here that I'm going to be turning into a tack room for the like a little equipment room for the stallions and geldings and he likes carrots and he likes sugar cubes I'm going to dupe these so that I can use them on other horses alright who should we ride next who are we thinking hi Jessica welcome to the stream yeah I haven't even gotten a basket today but like, I don't really, ex <laughs> I really expect a basket. I got a basket on Valentine's Day. So I was, I was like out of the house when I got my basket though. So I don't even remember getting my basket. Like, I don't remember when they said, I, oh, you got a basket at home. I just got home and realized I had a basket on my bed. I was like, oh, nice. Green eggs and ham, tiramisu. Okay, if I go get tiramisu, is Hagrid here? There's Paralysis, there's Goji. Or is Hagrid back at the ranch? Did I put Hagrid over here? No. I don't know who I could. I could bring, I could bring Do Dove over there. Or I could just walk over there. Why not? Alright guys, we're going to go for a peaceful Minecraft walk over to get Tiramisu from the ranch. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. There's other people with the name Jessica. I hate to tell you. That sounds, sounds like I'm saying you're not special, but no. Your name, your name spelling is a little unique. No, if you get gifted a membership, the person who gifted the membership already paid for your membership. So, Sophia paid for 10 people to have a membership. That's why we love Sophia. Oh, hello. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Okay, I could have gone the other way. I don't know why I went this way. Let's just, let's just move over onto the path. But I didn't get to go over the bridge. That's so sad. Okay, well, there's a bridge there. We'll get to go over it when I come back with Teramesu. I forgot I didn't have auto jump on. Yeah, that's like the whole tradition though of Easter is like the Easter bunny hides the eggs and you have to go find them but there's okay when i was a kid i watched this like really creepy video of like an easter bunny and i was always scared of the easter bunny because i didn't know that the easter bunny was supposed to be like innocent that it was like a creepy like creature and so when i was a kid like younger my mom would be like okay we're gonna go find the easter eggs and i'm like i don't want to find the easter eggs i don't want to see the easter bunny <laughs> please 
but I promise it's not scary. Sophia the real MVP. Honestly, Sophia has the top donator rank and has had the top donator rank, I think since last year this time, maybe even longer. I need to look back and look because I do want to like start sending out gifts to my top donators. Sushi, let's go. I'm gonna delete that because you don't need that anymore. My god, she's so cute. I know, let's go. Got the bees. Oh my gosh, you guys want treats? We got boba. Who's this down here? Or up here? Oh, Kessica. Boba and Kessica. I think Boba is Kessica's daughter. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but you know what? Bees don't care. The bees is just another another bee. <laughs> well, that's the whole like thing of it is like the Easter Bunny lays eggs because it's it's an Easter Bunny. Okay, so Teramesu is gonna be over here. She's ready to go. She's like, take me home. All right, let's go. Sushi, so better be careful. Don't go under her hooves, please. There you go, Sushi. She found a spot to sit. No, go in between here. Thank you. Um, and we don't have any tack for her here because her tack box is back at the show barn. Oh, sorry, big yawn. So we're gonna have to just give her tack here. You got something to say? Let's go, I'm taking you with me. Oh no, wait, no, you need to sit down. There we go. Keep all paws and legs and tail in the vehicle at all times. <laughs> she loves horse rides, what do you mean? <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring Teramesu over to the show barn. I bring her here to spend time with Pumpkin because they're besties. And when I made the transition from the show barn to the ranch, I felt bad that I was separating them. And a lot of you guys did too. You guys made the comments of like, bring her over to the show barn once in a while. And I'm like, I bring Pumpkin to the show barn all the time, but I don't bring Teramesu over to the ranch a lot. Yeah, so she is my IRL cat. We love her. She's freaking rude though. Like whenever I walk, whenever I walk like past her now, she just swipes at my feet. I'm like, excuse me, you want to do that again? I raised you. I won't kill her. I promise. Oh yeah, there's Pumpkin over with her daughters. I was filming a video. That's where she is. Those are Pumpkin's Daughters, Sugar and Spice. I'm gonna have a video coming out on it soon. How's she doing back there? She's like, Mom. Mom, I'm scared. We're gonna go away from the trees because we don't like how the trees kill animals on horses' backs. <laughs> A sassy sushi roll, honestly. She also tries to steal food constantly. No matter if like you have it on the table, she'll jump up and just try to eat from your plate. And no matter how much we like discipline her and like tell her no, my mom has like this little spray bottle and she still jumps up on the table all of the time. 
It's almost a joke at this point. Like, we kind of just expect her to do that. Rose. I loved hair Macy's, like, one white ear. We're gonna go the long way around because I want to show you guys the cute builds over here. Oh my gosh, look how big those rabbits are. They're big boys. We have the hydrotherapy. I built that on stream right before my England trip, I remember. And then I made the full barn. This is the Marin full barn. And I built a little pasture out here for when the, the foals are like growing. Sorry, big yawn. And then over there is the rabbit garden. Oh yeah, I forgot this place had a name. I keep on calling it the show barn. It is named Oakleaf Stables. But just know if I ever say show barn, I mean Oakleaf, secretly. And Jazz is out there. I haven't ridden Jazz. Is that Antari? Hold on a second, guys. I need to check this really quick. Why are you over here, Antari? Okay, I could have just ridden Antari back to the ranch. I knew I brought a horse over here from the ranch, but I didn't know which one. <laughs> So that's great. But I kind of want to move either Blue or Antari over to the show barn. No, this barn won't be for download. This is my personal barn. Okay, we're gonna put sushi down. On the ground, I mean. Just so you guys know, I don't I don't mean like down down, you know? I'm gonna feed her some fish just in case she's low health because I'm I'm scared that she's like low health and I don't know that she is and it's anxiety. Okay, it has to be raw, doesn't it? Like raw fish, yeah. No, sit down and stay there. All right, let's see. We're bonded, let's go. Yeah, if you haven't been watching my videos for a while, go watch the Meet My Horses video and everything will be explained. Why do I feel like her jump animations are normal now? Like, watch her jump. Look at how she finishes the jump. She actually lands and, like, keeps on going. Yeah, did you guys see that? I don't know. She does pause for a second before, like, continuing, but that's just the animation, the transition between them. That one you can see, yeah, okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Bye, Silver. Have a good rest of your Easter. Um, my stream won't be for a while today. Like it won't be for a super long time. I'll probably be going for another like 30 or so minutes. I wasn't planning on streaming a really long time today. What I wanna do one of these Sundays is like stream all day and like stream different games. But I don't think I have the mental power for that right now. So, yeah. Like, I've already alerted members that I'll be kind of slow for streams and stuff. Um, I'm just working on videos right now. And like I said, I have a few, like, medical things that are scaring me right now. And I want to focus on that and just, yeah. Not that I really need an excuse. I'm sure you guys will respect whatever choice I make, but I'm also making a series, so it's pretty fun doing that and spending all my time on that. It's exciting, yay. My favorite swim coat, probably Gooseberry. My answer is totally not biased because it was made after my RDR2 horse. That or um, brighter. Bye Muffin, have a good lesson. I also want to start doing Valorant streams. I know that a lot of you guys don't like FPS games and don't like Valorant, but I do have a lot of subscribers who like Valorant and like have subscribed to me because of Valorant shorts. So I kind of want to start doing that. And I've been popping off recently in Valorant. Like I started doing decently in Valorant. So kind of want to show off my skills. 
half of that was a lie. <laughs> the only thing about Valorant streams is you really never know what you're going to get in Valorant. Like, are you going to get a really positive lobby where everyone's like positive and nice? Are you going to get a silent lobby where nobody really talks? Or are you going to get a lobby that someone's like super toxic and rude and just like, I don't know. I guess I can just meet people at that point. Okay, Jessica, have fun lurking. I need to get a lurking emoji so you guys can say that. Like, I'm going to lurk. Lurking is just where you're active on the stream and you're watching and listening, but you're not like actually chatting. You're not really interacting with the stream other than just watching, which is like perfectly fine. I'm fine with that yet. Yeah. Um, my God, peachy gamer girl era, baby. I don't know. I haven't really played a lot of FPS games. I tried Overwatch. Hannah made me buy Overwatch like two years ago. <laughs> And then I played Overwatch for like a couple of days with her and I was like, I hate this. <laughs> like, I don't like Overwatch. And then I started playing Valorant. And then I like stopped playing Valorant for a while. And then I started playing again. And then my sister got Valorant. And every now and then we play Valorant together. But yeah. But I've made so many like friends on Valorant that are just like, I don't know, they're so nice. Oh my gosh, water break. Hold on. All right. Somebody said I should implement a rule that every time Streamlab says go drink water, I have to drink water. And you know what? I'm living by that. I just drink water. You guys don't get free drinking ASMR though. I'm sorry. <laughs> Destiny 2. How good is Destiny 2 though? I've heard some good and bad things about it. I need to watch gameplay so I know what I'm expecting, but I kind of want to try it. Destiny 2 is a free one, right? Yeah, I tried League of Legends. I tried it for like two weeks. Did not like League of Legends. <laughs> it was fun, but it was just like really repetitive. So it's Valorant in a way, but like you don't really meet a lot of people. There's no really like socialization and it's frustrating. It's a very frustrating game because the better you get at it, the better everyone else gets because you're going up in ranks and it's like, wow, this means I have to like actually get better at the game. I'm like a Sims player. I like making a cute little Sims family and controlling their lives, not like <laughs> being frustrated at a game. <laughs> I mean, lemonade is technically half water, so you're drinking some water. Let's see. Okay, we have speed two, jump three. We're still bonded. I'm going to go ahead and bring her this way. I like just to go around the property sometimes instead of going straight to the barn. It's fun. It's exciting, you know? God, it makes my life sound so boring. I also low-key want to start doing SSO streams again, but last time I did SSO streams, it was really chaotic and it was like almost like <laughs> almost anxiety inducing for me. So I feel like if I do SSO streams again, I'll have a very specific way of doing them and they'll pro they probably won't be public. They'll be like, you're either at the stream or you don't see it, that kind of thing. Like it's unlisted the moment. Or I'll put it like an archive or something. It's unlisted the moment it's done. Because I, I have been liking SSO recently, but not enough to make it like a permanent thing on my channel other than the series I'm doing, you know? Lexi banned. Banned for that. Because what the heck? What, what inspired you to be that evil in Sims? I don't know i have a lot of friends who play sims but i think the biggest thing that frustrates me with sims is like you have to make choices in sims that you don't really want to make because you're like i want the best for my sim but sometimes you have to ruin their lives a little bit okay oh she's not even named that's disappointing 
Why is her... Why is her name gone? That's weird. What is their name theme? Is it like the big text? Dove isn't even named. I thought I saw a horse. It's just a post. Winnie. Okay, so they're named that way. Let me get the website up. We'll name Winnie and Dove. Not Winnie. Dove and Teramisu. I almost said <laughs> Dinny and Wove. Oh my gosh, I should name a, her, if she ever has a daughter, I should name her Wove. Dove and Wove. Okay, let me find this. Is this it? I think this is it. Yes, nice. Tiramisu. Just like, what do you want? And then Dove. Can I like, like this? And then refresh this at the top of my page? Maybe? Oh my gosh, it is. I'm so technologically advanced. I'm so smart. And then I need to do some... I need to do some mucking. I don't think I have a wheelbarrow out here. I'm gonna put one like right here. I'm gonna put one out by the pasture. Let me go back to live stream chat because I'm on another website. Yeah, so SSO, a lot of people don't realize this. Like kids don't realize this and that's okay. Like you're not supposed to really realize this as a kid because it's just one of those things that like kids shouldn't have to worry about money. Kids shouldn't have to worry about expenses, but at the same time they should understand them so that they think, okay, well my, my parents can afford this and it's like that kind of thing. Which like, of course that's borderline guilt tripping when you tell your kid like, we can't afford this, how dare you ask for it? Um, but they do need to understand financials and like sometimes people can't afford certain things. SSO is one of those things that like, Everything costs money for a reason because it's a business. They're trying to get money from people. So when they say the only way that you can have this is if you pay money, that's in a way like programming people's minds of like in order to get this in life or that in life, I have to pay money. And I don't know, starting from a young age, it's just such a toxic mindset that games create. And I hate that SSO doesn't have like any major free options or even just like the people that do pay a good bit of money all they get out of it is like a few hundred star coins this is awkward what's up tamara oh tamara i don't know why i said tamara like that tamara it's matthew's sister i think that's why i named after didn't we have a didn't we have a chicken named after Matthew around here? I don't know. Anyways, we're not gonna get into that. It's your money, yeah. You know like the you know the song? Like Tamara, you know? What is the song? Hold on, I have to look it up. I have to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Tia Tamara. I'm not gonna recite the lyrics because um, it is an inappropriate song. We're not gonna go into that, but that's why I said Tamara. That Tamara. I have played a question in the game. I um, actually have a video out on it if you guys haven't seen that. I think we're done mucking this pasture. gonna go over here i've also played the star equestrian game i did a video on that i kind of want to continue the app but i'm not a huge fan of continuing apps that i've like i have no interest for but i'm kind of curious because a lot of people they weren't like hate messages they were just comments saying hey you should play the game a lot before like making opinions on it because it's actually a really fun game so i may play it a little bit longer so that i can know the game a little bit more Oh my gosh, you're drowning. Come here. No, come here. Yeah, okay, yeah. Get out of the water. Oh 
What is this cow's name? I'm kind of scared to check. Okay, just spot. Hi, Misty. Oh, well, I could have used that wheelbarrow out there, but I'm going to use this one. Okay. All right, so... Teramesu, how did this happen? What kind of skill do you have to have to poop, like, on your stall door? Oh my god. Like, yeah, I have a really skilled mare. Like, oh, what can she do? She can poop on her stall door. I'm gonna look at you like they're cr you're crazy. Okay, thank you, Dove. Sometimes the poop doesn't, like, sit on the shaving, so it just destroys. So it's, like, nice, because it can keep your stall clean. It's like self-cleaning, you know? We love that. Dolphin, are you good in here? Oh, thank you. Gojis and pyralises. Okay, I got compost from that. Nice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get the horses from the pasture and bring them into the barn because they've been out in the pasture for a while. Welcome, Vicky. I don't know why I collected that. Oopsies. Oh, I guess we'll do Kings as well because Kings has been out here for a while. Where are the other ones? Okay, Goshi's back here. Where's Pyralis? I'm gonna guess he's back in that corner. He loves that corner. Nope, there's a rabbit stuck in the tree though. Wait, am I, oh, I was about to say, am I stupid? Did I bring Pyralis in already? We have to take off their rugs because it's springtime, it's not cold anymore. Rug season is over. I don't know, a lot of people say like, oh, I, I'm gonna like just see the, the swim rugs as like a fly sheet or something, but I can't see that because it's not mesh. I don't know. Oh, thank you, Haley. Okay, guys. Come on. Let's go. Thank you for not making that as difficult as I thought it was about to be. Over 2,000 names for horses. Oh my gosh. Bye, Lily. Have a good rest of your Easter or Sunday if you don't celebrate it. Gray okay, rabbit named Binky. If I find a gray rabbit, yes. Um, okay. Gonna let you guys walk for a second. Pyralis, this is your stall. Come here, Bubba. Go on in. Go. Go. Alright, gonna take that off. Um, I guess I'll brush them down and give them treats because I haven't done that in a while. Okay, you like carrots, nice. Alright, Kings, this is yours with your bestie for the resty beside you, Dolphin. That is levitating. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to take the hay away. They have the hay in their slow feeder, so that's why I take the hay away in their stall. I love how the, all the other horses <laughs> had uh, rugs on and they just, Kings didn't. Like Kings was like, yeah, no, I don't need a rug, it's fine. So funny story, I think I'm changing Goji's color to cyan. That or I think whoever rode him last, I forgot who it was, put cyan on him but i i think cyan fits him way better than red in my opinion so we're gonna make him a new color theme let's go yeah they have sweet feed and then they have um quality bale and their slow feeder so you see how swim has like multiple bales we have oat alfalfa timothy and quality 
Um, so the quality is the only one that can be placed in slow feeders and also in paddock feeders. A lot of people think their game is just bugged because like the rest of their bales can't be put into like slow feeder or paddock feeder. But those can be hand fed to horses, just so you know. I usually like in survival gameplay, I half the bale so I make like slabs and then I feed them to them that way. But yeah, currently feeding is like bugged so haven't really needed to feed my horse in survival a lot. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's easy. We got two water barrels here. And then, excuse me, sir. Sorry, don't mean to, don't mean to butt in, but I, I kind of need that space. Was a slow feeder against? Yeah, no, I did it wrong. Goji, I don't want to accidentally hit you, please. I'm gonna get canceled for that. You understand that, right? If I accidentally hit you while I'm making this stall, I'm, I can't come back to the internet. Alright. Alright, Goji, you got your food. I came back to your levitating dolphin. Yes, sir. I need some more light in here. I think what I want to do is... I kind of want to redesign this really quick. So we have, this is the light rubber mat, right? I always thought this was like the medium. Do all of them have like this stone strip? Do all the stalls have that? These guys do. Yeah, everyone has like that stone strip. I wonder if that, if I left that for a reason. Me just forgetting why I left that last time. I don't even know past me. I don't know what she was thinking, but we're gonna change that. Um, replace. No, SWLM. Light rubber mat, and then SWEM. Light rubber mat. Does that look a little too bright though? I don't know. I feel like we'll have to light up the ceiling as well for it not to look a little odd. Maybe we'll try a different consistency, like 80% and then 20. Let's try that. No, not 290%. Oh god, no. It's still a little bit bright. I think it looks better. It's just if we lit up the roof too, like the ceiling too, it would look a lot better. I like how this one looks compared to this one. This one's really bright. Looks like floor turned into the gates of heaven for a second yeah that looks a little better not so intense it's shaders without shaders it would look a little bit normal <laughs> but because of shaders it does not okay um now for this side Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Noise. Look at that. Looks so much nicer in there. So much lighter. Look, look at the. This is before. And this is after. Let me do this one over here. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that yet. There we go. Yeah, you can get some on Curse Forge. If you guys need a tutorial, I have it on my channel. Now all of the stalls are properly lit up. It looks a little weird, like I said, because it's on shaders. And SWLM and shaders, they don't really mix very well, especially with like a lot of SWLM. It's like a skill to get SWLM to look good on shaders. So don't be alarmed if you get SWLM, which is like Star Room Lighting Mod, 
A lot of blocks are like, where is it? This one? Yeah. A lot of blocks are like starworm, you know, which is like the natural lighting. I say a lot of them, all of them. I don't know why I said a lot of them like that, but they can all like have natural lighting on them, which you can like very subtly put light in your builds. Um, and I need to apply it to this barn. Oh my gosh, yes. I want to do that. I need to send the pictures to Riley and get like nameplates made for the horses. And I want to get like little photos of them too to put around the barn and like different things. And then when we actually have the server open, I want to have like monthly like competition winners because I want to have series of competitions. Like you need to go to a qualifier and then you need to go to the actual show. I don't know for my server and then like the the winner gets a picture taken and put on like a, a wall or something i think that'd be really cool which sounds like a really good idea for a public server but i just don't have <laughs> i don't have the mental capacity for a public server i'm sorry Okay, I'm wondering what we should do now. Let's see, how long has it been going for? Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. I think we should make the new CIT jumps. I kind of want to try them out in my arena. I want to use some of them for cross country. So we're going to do that really quick. Oh, it's version, wait, 3.1? Yeah, no, it was 3.1. Um, let's see. I want to show the rosettes. Or the ribbons, sorry. I call them rosettes because I'm so used to, like, what Brits say. Um, blue, red. See, my version is, like, I used to go off of, like, the Canadian thing, which was like, <laughs> which was red means first place. And then blue meant second place, but I don't know if that's US or Canadian or like foreign. I don't know what that is. So if you guys could educate me on that, that would be great. Okay, so. I think this will work. Okay, so it doesn't work. That means I have the wrong resource pack enabled. Yeah, I need 3.1. Uh, huh? Okay, maybe I'm the problem. Hold on, guys. I can I can fix this. Okay. Is that not the same one I just had? <laughs> when is there going to be more mind planet when they plan another event? Every civilization event for each like project takes like a month or two for them to plan. Same for every other like server. I don't know. I've been invited to a couple of them since then. Like the owner of one reached out and he was like, hey, if you want to try more like civ events i have a couple of them planned for this year so i'm waiting on that 
all the other ones that I found are like really like high quality like they're just they've been doing it for a long time they know what they're doing there's like rarely any hiccups or anything but it's very difficult to get in them like you have to apply you have to send in a voice audition you have to do like all this stuff and as much as I want to do that that's like those are some high stake like civ events I don't know if I'm ready for that like I liked this one because it was so low-key and like everyone was really sweet and there was it was just basic you know it was really well planned but it was like also just it was simple and I like that I like the storyline I like the lore but I'm scared of going to any bigger projects <laughs> So, yeah, red is, yeah, red is first, and I think, I think the U.S. blue is first, and red is second, but I think I always went by red is first when I did online horse shows, because every other country has red being first. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so that didn't work. It's maybe, okay, am I doing something wrong? Am I the problem? Am I the drama? Okay, let me see what I just put in here. Um. Okay, y'all. Oh, uh, okay, guys, listen. Oh, I just took it off. Listen, I don't think I'm the smartest one at the at this moment. I thought it said name the ribbon like fitting of what you want. So it was like wool. So it's like, okay, just name whatever like ribbon. <laughs> name whatever ribbon like color you want, just ribbon. No, you have to name it like the actual placing. That's awkward. Wow, I love it here. Yeah, I really want medals and, like, trophies and that kind of thing. I'll probably be getting custom, like, CIT models done for my server. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to get, like, nameplates made as well. But, like, for CIT, kind of, like, a border around it. I don't know. I used to get ribbons for a swim and then trophies for like high stake events. Like big like shows. I went to a, I think it was triple A. It was like this really big like seasonal event for swimmers. And apparently we were gonna be like scouted. And so my coach, he was so stressed. He was like, you, need, you guys need to do good or you're like not going to go to college for swim. I was like, joke's on you. I didn't want to go to college for swim. Well, uh, funny story. The second day I started having really bad like ear pains and I couldn't figure out what it was. It was more like towards my brain. And I told my mom, it's not an ear infection. I've had ear infections before. I haven't had them like a ton, but I've had them before it's not an ear infection. And she's like, okay, but there's inner, middle, and outer ear infections, right? Middle is one of the worst because it's really hard to treat. Inner is, inner and outer are kind of like the easier ones to treat. You'd think that inner was the worst, but no, middle is like the worst. So I go to the doctor after I get back. Keep in mind my coach, I hyperextended my arm because my arms are double jointed. And my coach like tried to like stretch my arm, quote stretch, and ended up hyperextending it more. And I was in a ton of pain. And then he made me swim like a 1000 IM, which means you do like, I think like eight laps. But IM is like you do every single stroke. So you do two freestyle, two butterfly, two backstroke, and two breaststroke. So I had to do a 1000 IM with a hyperextended arm with my ear hurting. And then the day that I got back, um, I started having really bad ear pains and my mom took me to the doctor. I had a double 
middle, and outer infection. And then my eardrum ruptured. Funny story. Um, and then when my mom called my coach saying, listen, she's gonna have to be out for a week or two because she can't even come in contact with water. If it goes into her ear and her infection gets worse, she could like, I temporarily lost my hearing in one of my ears. Like she, my mom was very serious about this and I was too. Like my mom was like, you can't, you can't risk this. And um, yeah. My coach was like, she'll be fine. We could just have her paddle board. And I'm like, what's the use of even coming to work out and like to swim practice if I'm just going to be paddle boarding? Hello? And so I quit swim after that. Like I called him like a week or two after because he kept on calling my mom, being disrespectful to my mom, being disrespectful to me. And I was like, okay. Because apparently me and the a couple other girls had been scouted for like the Youth Olympics or whatever. And he was like, your name's on a roster. You have to come to, you have to come to the swim practice so you can get better. And I'm like, sir, no. Isn't that cute? Like, look, if you maybe like had a recent show and you want to kind of flex, just look, isn't that cute? I like that. That's cute. Or you can like have like a little, a little like photo shoot and like put your arm up. And if you take a photo at the right time, it looks like you're holding up the award. Huh? Isn't that cute? I don't know. I'm so easily entertained by pixelated things. It's great. Um, let's look at some of the new jumps. We have... The newest one is the Pink Oxer, which I showed at Ivy Meadows. This is my member barn. Um, I, it's already up for members. The April member barn is going to be here soon. Um, it has like a cute little pink heart in the middle. This one is an oxer. So this one is like higher up. Um, I put it as two blocks, but you can always make it three blocks if you want to like train your horses with bigger jump. Um, but yeah, I like this one. This one's really cute in my opinion. I, the only thing I wish it came in was different colors. Like I wish you could color code it so that it would appear in different colors but i know that's like a that's like a big thing to ask for okay thank you for doing that oh i landed right back at the chest let's go um and then we have the castle jump which i have not seen this one just yet so i'm very excited about this one it's made with cobble sorry if this is boring to you guys i love this kind of stuff um, I'm trying to read stream chat as well. Let me put stream chat over here. There we go. Perks of having a bigger monitor. Okay. Um, cobblestone, and then you do jump pole middle. Uh-huh. What did I just spell? I don't know. Why did I just use cobble? Like, okay, you know, actually, I can just do this. Okay. side and then stand looks best with foliage she said on the catalog so by Lexi so we're gonna add foliage as well but I'm gonna grab the hedges from um, the cork mod Let's do dark oak since this is kind of like a dark oak themed barn. And then we can go and grab dark oak leaves. I still need to update these trees. So in the official tour, I updated the, the barn and then did a tour on it. And then because the file was like exported from um, Sweet VIP um, before I did all the updates, I have to do them again, which is fine. But I'll just have to figure out when to do them. Okay, so we need middle. Dang, this is a big jump. Okay, so it's like two blocks out. So this is gonna be a wide jump. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, yeah, so keep in mind, you need it two blocks out. And then we need the side. Is the side two blocks out as well? No, okay, it's one block out. This is the perfect cross-country jump, too. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
much. I love this. This is also a good, like, high jumping level jump. You know, like those really fancy jumps you see in, like, the 1.5 meter, like, pre-type jumps? Yeah, sleep perfect. I could also add some foliage, but you have to be careful because if you, if you, like, disrupt the frame, you're going to ruin the jump. Like, the jump little thing is going to go away. I don't want to add too much foliage because I really love the design. Oopsies. I need to see that. Oh my god, please. There we go. Oh, yeah, what'd I just say? It's gonna happen. Alright, so we have to be careful where we place these. Just do it slowly and carefully. That would- this would be a good water jump. Like, Castle on the Hill. I mean, Ed Sheeran moment, you know? And then you take barriers. I would just do give because I don't know if you can find it in the creative menu. And since the frame is up here, or down here, you can build up here safely. So I always just make them go across this way. Since it's- like, it- the horses can go through it without the barriers. So now you can't see the barriers. You can only see them when you're holding them. And the horse has to jump it. We can test these out in just a second. And then what else do we have? Okay, this one is the, the EQCIT jump. So this is like, I guess, the pack jump that she made. This one looks cool. Looks really fancy. You can also use different sides for different jumps, I found out. I don't know if it works for every single jump with every single side, but sometimes it's fun to mix and match, you know? Okay. So we have the... Sorry, I'm reading your guys' chat as I'm doing this. And then this one as the stands. There we go. Let's make this one over here. Since we need a jump over here. Why did I do that? Ooh. I like the filler. I like that. Okay, I need to stop grabbing the barrier blocks and thinking that it's the... <laughs> That is the um, frames. There we go. And then we'll put the barrier blocks clean through the middle. I don't like really putting it through the top block because the top block, if if the barrier went up here, the horse would have to jump way up high. So if it jumps over this block, it jumps over just enough where it doesn't look like it's hitting the pole, but it doesn't look like it's over jumping the jump, you know? So I always put it two blocks up if the jump is this high. And if you put it one block lower on the ground, the horse can just ride over it. So yeah, that's the EQCIT. And this is by Moonflower on Planet Minecraft. I have a video on it if you guys want to go check it out. So, not my designs at all. This is Moonflower made these. Um, I can actually put the link in stream chat. I just put it in stream chat for you guys. Um... The only thing I'm waiting for on the Equestrian CIT pack that I've seen that would be cool is the um, the, the letter plates for the dressage um, box. Like, she has a dressage box that's going to go um, against, like, the dressage fence. 
this one and it's supposed to have like um letter plates for it soon and i'm kind of excited for that bye sophia have a good sleep thank you so much for joining like these these bad boys like huh that would be cool and you could have like little letters in there that is planned it says it on the um the catalog it says letters will be added in a later version of the pack so i'm excited for that bye molly but yeah that's the cit pack updates i was really excited not only for the jumps but also for the awards for like the rosettes because that's one thing a lot of like texture packs and mods and stuff don't have is awards and rosettes and like realistic like competition friendly items i don't know not that they should but it's just like it's it's not like expected if that makes sense i'm gonna take off my stuff because yeah 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 those are the dressage fences they're very nice but this is CIT, so it's not a mod, so it's just a texture pack. CIT is just a custom item texture, so it acts as a texture pack, so you don't have to like install a whole new mod. You do need Optifine for them though, because Optifine is what kind of like powers them. Oh, bye Rose, have a good night. I'm gonna be ending stream anyways. Um, I've been going on for a while, and I had fun today on stream, but it is time for me to log off. I need to go and work on my editing and everything that's been going on. Um, I can't, I've already put out a trailer. I've updated the first clips a lot since the trailer. So the trailer isn't really going to look like anything on the first episode. So I may redo the trailer again. I don't know, but I'm very excited for that. I can't give out a lot because there's a lot of like special surprises. I also love these types of series because you guys can kind of like plan and like guess what's gonna happen like there's gonna be a lot of like hidden things in the series that you're gonna go oh my gosh this can connect to that and this and this and it's it's just it's me and my murder mystery obsession that you're like oh my gosh this person did it you know but i can't say much more because it will give it away but yeah thank you guys for joining and supporting thank you sophia for the 10 gifted subs thank you angelic for the donation and thank you everyone else who joined and supported by chatting lurking interacting and I hope you guys are having an amazing Easter and continue to have an amazing Easter. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna stop there. All right, guys, I love you. Goodbye.